Radiation can be hazardous to health. It's the ionization that's the problem. Ionization frees up electrons to interfere with the chemistry that makes our cells work. In high doses, above about 500 millisieverts or 0.5 sieverts, this can stop our organs functioning and make us very ill, sometimes fatally. In 1986, a reactor at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Ukraine caught fire after inexperienced operators, late at night, tried to make the reactor do things they had been explicitly told to avoid. Firefighters were lowered in helicopters over the burning reactor core and they were irradiated with up to 10,000 millisieverts, that's 10 whole sieverts of gamma and neutron radiation. 28 out of 134 of them died of acute radiation syndrome within weeks of the exposure. But most made a full recovery and went on to have healthy children. In a nuclear reactor, radioactive iodine is produced, which can accumulate in the thyroid gland if you eat contaminated food. Fifteen people, who were children at the time of the accident, died of thyroid cancer over the following 25 years, and there are predicted to be a total of 160 excess deaths, equivalent to about three a year. There has been no proven increase in any other cancer, including in the firefighters. If you're asked about health effects of radiation in an exam, then this is the kind of thing you should put to get the marks. Radiation damages DNA, which can lead to genetic mutations that cause cancer. A much more accurate but less snappy response would be, radiation sometimes damages DNA without killing the cell, which very, very rarely can lead to a particular type of genetic mutation that causes cancer years later. Every cell in our body experiences about 10 million instances of DNA damage each year due to natural chemical processes. For background radiation, the equivalent figure is about one piece of DNA damage per year. However, we still do what we can to minimise the risk. Alpha and beta are only really hazardous inside the body. Alpha can't make it through skin and beta will only penetrate the first few millimetres. To avoid alpha and beta risks, you want to reduce ingesting or breathing in contaminated water, food or air. Gamma radiation is much more hazardous outside the body, even though some of it will pass straight through you. To avoid the risk from gamma, you use shielding, increased distance and reduced exposure time to minimise irradiation.